Alright, so question number 13 states we need to find the inverse sign of radical 3 over 2, right? So all we want to make sure that we have All I want to make sure we have, guys, is we, have, uh, we need to figure out what our angle is, right? That's exactly what the inverse is doing. We're trying to figure out what is our theta. So I need to figure out, remember, sine represents the y value of our coordinate point on the unit circle. So what I need to do is determine what coordinate point am I dealing with. Well, when looking at my unit circle, since I have it, like, ingrained in my brain by now. <coughs> Okay, uh, when you look at this, we know that this point is at 60 degrees, right? Or pi over 3. Okay, so this point, 60 degrees pi over 3, we know that's our coordinate point where sine is going to equal to radical 3 over 2. However, when also does sine equal radical 3 over 2? Sine also equals radical 3 over 2 at negative 1 half radical 3 over 2 which is just going to be um, add another 60, which would be at 120 degrees, right? There's two times when you have a sign that your sign value, your y value is radical 3 over 2 because the negative ones don't count because since that's not negative, right? But remember what we talked about. The restrictions on your inverse sign are going to only between... They're only between negative pi over 2 and pi over 2. Therefore, the inverse sine of radical 3 over 2 is only going to be this point right here, which is 60 degrees. Does that make sense? No, no. Yes. yes, it does. Do you remember my? Do you remember what we went over with the inverses? No, I didn't. I just don't want to say like. 